incremental refresh. So there's few things that must be remember while uh, creating the uh, incremental refresh. First, uh, first is that incremental refresh is a real time data set. So what we did, I want data and uh, uh, get data. And since we have a large amount of data, so in that scenario, what we did, we are going to update those data or new added data which is modified or added in the database that data are going to import in the Power BI. So I'm going to call each and every things with the interview prospect. So let's just begin with that. So welcome to the again, welcome to the Build Future Lab Power BI incremental refresh session interview question. So for this, uh, you must be aware that you must be aware that uh, where were you going to uh, implement data set. So if I do refresh every day, so that will take longer time. And definitely, why would I waste it? So what we did, we can modify and add data where changes has been happened. Like suppose we have 10 rows, but system has been modified due to any reason. And we have 100 rows which need to add in the data set. So that can we do that. So this thing is going to help by the engagement refresh. And the benefit is that refresh faster, refresh and more reliable, reduce consumption of the of your system, I mean CPU, enable large data set and easy setup. Easy setup means just we create actually it's work on the range, date range. So start and end it. So you can just support, but there's an important thing is that you must have the date. So modify it as something to so instead of pick up the beginning and start beginning date and end date. Start it and you can say that and create the parameter in your Power BI and that parameter pass in your data set. But yeah, single data set should be repaired and if you tour the pass both of them. After that, then uh, require license part. So in license part, we can use, you know that uh, we can use the pre premium premium per vision and pro means if you have a license so you can use it also power be embedded as it also is worked on let's work let's talk about the data process getting data link method of connection type so connection time is doesn't support the direct query and uh, as well as the uh, you can say uh, live connection it will support only import you remember that so please that make sure user maybe ask question that if I'm using direct query and implemented the role uh, in, in, in refresh, so you just say immediately that yeah, this is not possible. Only you can use import. Then you can do that. Otherwise, you will not. Next part is that uh, support data sets. It's supporting the query folding. Like suppose query folding is the best option that suppose uh, SQL you're writing, so SQL directly push database to get data. So this way is work on the query folding. There's a time limit minimum at least if you have a license so minimum five years required to refresh your data before five years not possible so re regarding regardless engagement refresh power data sets refresh timeline for the two hour do not support getting real-time data with that query for data premium capacity time limit is five hours means as per the standard time hours that we have in system which is microsoft documentation set Current timeline, so you can create a parameter. After that, filter date, data, def define policy, table, whatever table you have, create the partition and create the time zone as well. Like a support while creating schedule refresh time zone required. According to time zone, it will perform that. And the next question, the, the question which I prepared for it, the question was that, suppose, uh, means the question which I received, that suppose um, interviewer asked, that I wanted to download PBX from the Power BI service services where engagement refresh has been applied. So simple and straightforward answer, not possible to download. So if suppose I am a user, I have implemented rollable security. So I have a backup. I have a backup file. Definitely I have. So just remove the rollable engagement uh, refresh, and after that republish and then download it. Otherwise, not possible. Simple say no. And if you still have any doubt and question, so let me know. 
definitely give the comments i will definitely help you out with that and i will give the answer as per uh, as soon as possible and if you find this video useful so don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you so much for your time and please hit the subscribe